Here from Luke Voigt breaking down the outcome. Luke, quiet night for the offense. Why do you think they were able to uh, basically shut you down throughout the course of the game? Oh, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> I, I don't know. I, I feel like I let my team down. I had a terrible five games against those guys, and you know they got good pitching, and um, we got to do better. It's frustrating. It sucks, and um, just feel for the fire for next year. It's certainly not the end result you guys would have liked, but when you look at your season, you had some personal highs. How do you evaluate the year as a whole? Um, you know, it's it was a fun year, but not good enough. I'm just going to do everything I can to get better and, um, you know, keep grinding. You know, the offseason starts for us tomorrow, so I'm going to get after it. Um, and obviously, you know, try to take care of my foot problem and, you know, get all that figured out and, you know, go from there because I hate this feeling. It sucks. Um, it's the third year in a row going through it, so uh, going to use it <clears throat> in every workout, every, you know, BP session, cage session I have, and um, be ready for spring training next year. Exactly what was the foot issue, and what do you need to do to, to get that healthy? Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, you know, the plan is for me to go back and, and get it looked at. Um, you know, I, I think it's just your classic case of plantar fasciitis, but again, I don't know. Um, Plan on getting something done on Sunday, and you know we'll you know we get an MRI and see see what the problem is. But I I, I really don't know. Um, I wasn't trying to be you know secretive about it. I just we just didn't know. So we have time for two more for Luke Bob Clappish. Please unmute. Luke, could you describe the mood in the room right now? The sentiment. Horrible. <laughs> Sucks, man. A lot of great players in this locker room, and um, you know, uh, end goal is not what, what we wanted, and it's um, it's a crappy feeling, man. Thank you, Andy Martino. You have the final question with Luke. Luke, like you said, you guys, you've been on three really good teams here, and then had three uh, disappointing endings to the seasons. Uh, as these years go by, it, does the frustration become a challenge? Does it become something that you have to, uh, I mean, you talked about using it as motivation, but can that also be something that's you don't want to think about all the time as the guys come back next year and, and you don't want it in your head too much that this keeps happening? Yeah, I mean, just sitting in my locker just thinking about, you know, all the opportunities I had in this series to do something, and it's just it, it just drains you. And uh, but literally, um, it's part of the game. There's always a loser, and it sucks being a losing in. And I hate this feeling, but um, I'm gonna do everything possible, like I said, to to you know figure out it because I was terrible this series and. Um, I feel like I let my team down, and after you know having a good year, and I need to be better. So there's a lot of stuff I got to work on and um, improve my you know overall you know um, as a player, hitting defense, you know everything. So um, you know, I'm awesome guys in this locker room, and you know I it's just gonna make me want it more and more and more, and you know. I can't play forever, so you got to do what you can to, you know, take advantage of these opportunities when you get them.